Next into the tank is a solution for new moms feeling the heat. Hi Sharks, I'm Jackie and this is my husband Jeremy. We are from hot and sunny Mesa, Arizona and we're here seeking $100,000 for 10% equity in our company. Last year, we were blessed with the most beautiful baby girl, Sunny. Aww. Sunny brought the sunshine into our lives, but man, did she also bring the heat. Literally, sharks. Every time I breastfed, I'd be drenched in sweat. Me and Sunny would come out so hot, and we found no solution. And Jackie tried every nursing cover under the sun, but kept running into the same problem. Left sweaty, stressed, and without a solution, we were forced to take matters into our own hands with the Lady Alpha Nursing Cool Cover. The only breastfeeding cover on the market with an integrated fan to keep your baby cool while <laughs> breastfeeding. Simply wow. attach our wow. light and breathable cover onto the fan using the Velcro and place it over you and your baby. Our rechargeable and bladeless fan has three air speeds for you to choose from. And its flexible design creates an adjustable opening for hands-free eye contact with your baby at all times. And sharks, we have really thought of it all. Our 100% muslin cotton cover is baby tug proof. So rest assured that even with the squirmiest baby, it's not going anywhere. Oh my God, that's gonna be a meme. <laughs> People always say, don't sweat the small stuff, but we say, why sweat at all? So tell us, which one of you is ready to be the coolest shark and help moms and babies everywhere? Good job. Uh, great so job. this is it yeah. right here? Yep, yeah. in front okay. of you is the nursing cool cover. So this sweating baby thing's a big deal. <laughs> it's it's a because real... the... Oh my gosh, it really works. Yes. You feel it? It's kind of cool. Works. <laughs> How much do you sell it for? We sell it for $59.95 for the complete unit. That's not bad. What does it cost you to make? It costs us $17.30 for the complete unit. So your margins are fantastic. Have you sold many of them? Yes, Barbara. <laughs> Great <How> question. <laughs> so since launching seven months ago, we have sold 1,400 units for wow, a total of you. 70, thank you, for a total of $79,000. We initially bought 300 units thinking it was going to take us all year to sell, and we, fold out, we sold out four weeks later. Isn't wow. it a great feeling to sell out so fast? Yeah, it's a great, great problem. I was going to be ecstatic if we sold one a day and <laughs> sold all 300. I was going to be very how, happy. How did you bring your customers to you? Uh, strictly social media. We initially got an investment of $15,000 and all of it was taken up with IP and inventory. So I knew if I was gonna make this work, we had to take social media by storm and I've built a community around moms. Um, but we Do you have a background in that? Like, are you a social media expert? Or no. Why don't you both tell us about you? And okay. who gave you the 15,000? My uncle Robert, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously? He could be your next uncle Robert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go back to your backgrounds. Yeah, Tell my us background. About you. So I currently work for a hospital system in Scottsdale, Arizona, as a strategic sourcing program manager. But my background is unrelated to that. I'm from a very small farm town of 500 people, Faith, South Dakota. And I grew up working on our family farm, had to start operating machinery at a very young age. At the time, I absolutely hated it. But looking back, I'm extremely grateful. I learned a lot of hard work, sacrifice, and that if you want something done, you've got to roll up your sleeves and do it yourself. And I do this full time. I take care of the business on top of being a full time stay at home mom. Um, but I am a first generation Latina raised here in the US by an immigrant single mother who came here for the American dream. Growing up, I watched her work multiple jobs and struggled to provide for us. Mm. Um, after high school, I went to college for a whole half a semester. I did drop <laughs> out because I've always just been really bad in school, but somehow I ended up in corporate America. I worked in credit cards, collections. I did personal loans and I was even a car saleswoman. Wow. Um, but so I'm you always, can sell, right? You can sell. I don't know, kind of. <laughs> 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 well, we're here, huh? Um, but I've always just had an entrepreneurial spirit and that hustler mentality. I did watch my mom also quit her three jobs and start her own cleaning company. So I began wow. cleaning houses with her, mm. um, knowing that I was gonna at least be in charge of my future. And then Sunny came along and she just inspired such a beautiful, and cool product and I taught myself everything there is to know about business. If I, the daughter of an immigrant single mother with no <laughs> college education, can go from cleaning houses, scrubbing toilets to building a successful business and being on Shark Tank, they can do it too. That's right. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so we just wanted to share it. When we first became parents last year, breastfeeding out in public became a very stressful ordeal and we began debating if we wanted to go to family events or public functions. And so when a light bulb clicked in my head to just simply attach 
a fan that I had seen that seemed to be the right shape around the neckline. Um, and I told Jackie, and she really ran with it. I ran, I ran to my grandmother. She is a 65-year-old seamstress from Mexico where she learned all of her amazing skills. And with $15, we built um, our first prototype. She had it completed in two days. And the next day after that is when I filed our provisional patent. Go, Grandma. Actually, our utility patent just got approved. Oh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm curious, how big a problem is this? I've really not heard of it before. How often do women talk about this? this and complain about it. So it's actually an unspoken pain point that I feel moms really don't talk about. When we had created the first prototype, I took it to the park. In my family, there's never a shortage of pregnant women. Someone's pregnant <laughs> or someone's on their way to get pregnant. Um, so, I showed, <laughs> so I showed this to the moms and I can just, it looked like they've seen a ghost, like their jaws dropped and they're asking me if we can get them some. So, it's, it's a huge problem. <laughs> to help just understand the demand a little bit and what kind of moms are wanting it, we opened up waitlist orders this last month. And your customers are happy to wait. Happy to wait. And they have actually reached There's out no saying- There's no alternative with a fan right now? This is it? There's nothing else this on the market it. with what, a fan. What does it cost you to acquire these customers? Zero dollars. Yeah, it's all social media yeah. driven. What do you need the 100,000 for? Since we launched, we've consistently ran out of inventory. The demand that Jackie's been able to create through social media is far greater than our access to capital. How at the many moment. people do you have waiting for an order? So we're waiting on 600 units that are scheduled to arrive in the next couple of days. But I was being bombarded with emails and DMs, Instagram, TikTok of mom saying, "Can I pay for this ahead of time because I want to make sure I get it before the next restock, so before it sells out." Mm. So that kind of just gave us the confidence to open up waitlist orders or pre-orders. And so we did that two weeks ago, and in one day we did we sold 482 units wow. for a total of $29,000. And what's your lead time for delivery? Um, I want to make you an offer, just to shortcut it a little bit. There you okay. go. I'll give you the hundred thousand dollars for ten percent, exactly what you ask. Why well, not? So yeah, why not? Wow. But let me tell you, your numbers speak for itself, and you are a charmer. For ten percent? Yeah, exactly what you came in asking for. Would Should you we, uh, also be able to fund purchase orders sure. if and when we do decide to go I'm into retail? I'm a good girl. No problem. When you got an offer, what, you say yes. There's yeah. no more talking. Yes. Yeah, you just say yes. I would like an answer right away. If you want to shop around, that's no problem. No. no. Yes, we'll accept the yes. offer, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> she's my favorite shark. Can I give her? <laughs> well, she's your favorite you. shark now, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm my own favorite shark. <laughs> Well, yeah. You are a lucky devil. You treat her well. I will. Thank yeah. you, Barbara. Looking okay. forward to working Same with you. Here. Congrats, guys. You guys are the real deal. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Love you guys. Thank you.